Okay, in today's video, we're going to be going over, uh, actually showing how to use a string to dent and a dent to string. Um, this is in, in efforts to, you know, to show the versatility and basically, you know, how to use it. Um, and most applications you would use this for is, say, for instance, like a barcode or an ASCII reader or even like a readout, um, something to compare to uh, give a give a readout to an HMI or something. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, in this instance, we are again using the uh, RS Logix uh, Emulate 5000 chassis. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the program from scratch. So I'll just select version 20 at this time. That's currently what I'm using. We'll label it string program because we'll come back and we'll show some other instances of uh, basically what to use the uh, strings for. And to start off with, so we'll come in and make sure that again our process is the emulator. Uh, we, we're running version 20.11. We're in slot 1, so just keep in mind when you're using your your chassis, your emulate chassis that you be pick slot one, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So uh, first off, I can change my content, my main task from a continuous task to a periodic task, and that's just my preference. So I get better timing. I know that in this instance, it, it really doesn't have any kind of to wait or, or reason why, but it's just a good practice to get into. <clears throat> it helps you understand timing better with machines and, and understand when you have problems. So, uh, so real quick, we have our main, uh, which I won't, I won't be using. I'll go ahead and throw a, another one in there. So we'll, we'll call this uh, string to dent. And then, so we have string to dent. Um, of course, in our main, we need to go ahead and throw a JSR. So that's just basically jumping the subroutine, you know, to the uh, subroutine or the main uh, main program or the main routine to the uh, subroutine we we just created, which is string to dent. So that's really all we want to do on the main. Uh, we'll come back in and throw in a couple wrongs. And show how to use this. <clears throat> Some instances where you can use it, and and uh, so first and foremost, I want to kind of get into where these instructions are. All right, so you have your your top toolbar. You can just like drag something down if you know exactly what it is, and and just highlight it. So there's two ways to do this. You can just come down here and and uh, just go in and and select through your your. Uh, Basically, all your your uh, commands and your your, your uh, instructions, if, if you you know, in in that instance right there, you can do that, and um, you can select ASCII or something out here. Personally, what I like to do is I, I like to get in a good habit of just staying up on the top toolbar. Um, it's just more effective because I you know I use a lot more elements up here for troubleshooting and that that nature. So it just keeps it's it's more user friendly for me to uh, do that but you can use the other method as well but what I'm getting at is you want to go over to in this instance where we're using it it's not going to be a string uh, ASCII string port or ASCII string it's going to be ASCII conversion so in this instance we're going to be using the uh, dent to string and then we'll be using the string to dent so uh, there's a couple of different instances too. We'll, we'll come back and use the the other ones, but uh, in this instance, I want to show the the use of the um, string to dent or the dent to string. So first and foremost, we'll we'll make a uh, we'll just make the dent, right? So make sure your data type is a dent, and then we'll put uh, say for instance, this is going to be like the like coming from another system or even downloaded from like HMI for a recipe or something. Say for like, let's just call it 
for instance, that's a, it's a barcode scanner. So we'll call it the current barcode. And then we want to, down on this instance, we want to go ahead and be able to compare this and, and use it for like with a barcode system, which would be an ASCII system. Uh, an ASCII system, you know, basically is a string system. So you're reading like a barcode and it converts it over. Um, you could do that with a dent, so you, have, you would have to convert it over. So this would just be the... Uh, barcode we'll just call it barcode converter for now so you see the way that this comes in as a zero and this comes in basically is a um, doesn't have anything but some um, hyphens what we want to do, and we'll go ahead and take this back too, um, but we want to, to go ahead and throw some data into this and, and show how it, it represents into a, a, a string. <clears throat> and it may not look like it's doing much, you know, but and when I, I show you how to use the string con uh, concentrate and stuff like that, when you're basically adding the strings together, you could not necessarily get away with that with, uh, you know, looking at a just a dent. Um, you know, dents are, are, are made for different purposes, but so this is what we would use the the uh, string for. <clears throat> In this instance, though, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, convert it back as well. Um, but we'll do that. We'll, we'll say uh, we'll put a block in front of it right now. And we'll just, something we can just toggle. <clears throat> and we'll get rid of this right now. So, alright, so with that said, we have our basic program where we're going to run. We're going to show this. Um, so I would like to just go ahead and, and download to it. And again, I'm going to download to my, uh, my ABVBP, which is my virtual backplane, uh, min slot 1. So at that point, I just download. Go ahead and cut it and run. Okay, so... You see that it, it automatically runs and it has a zero in this, this effect, right? So what we could do, and I, I'll go ahead and add a wrong to this too, so you can see it real time. Okay, so if I change this number right here, so say for instance I, I change it to uh, 1024, it comes in and puts a 1024 right here. Now, again, this looks similar, right? It, it looks exactly what it's supposed to be. But in the instance, you know, and, and it, you've, if you've dealt with this before, you'd know that you can't do much else with this besides compare it. So if you were comparing values or something to say, um, that uh, like for a barcode system or, or something of that nature where you had like a, a hyphen or, or something behind it you really kind of need to, to add this to it so at that point we would have like a we come in and we throw a string string concentrate in there So in that, part, that point right there, what we do is we come down here and we'd say, <coughs> I'm 
sorry about that. I'm <clears throat> somewhat congested right now. So uh, in this point, we'd have barcode and we would just put barcode extended. Now in this, this instance right here, we would go ahead and uh, like have some values in it. We would have like a, let's pull this aside. We'd have like O2 if you wanted to or whatever the case may be. And we'd come down and put like full barcode. So in this instance right here, what we could do is we could take this full barcode and come back and put like a dash behind it or a dash in front of it. And that way, <clears throat> what you would get is this, this number right here, right? So if somehow the barcode changed and I don't know, it was that number right there, right? then it would automatically say, for instance, your your code or whatever for you, whatever you're reading. Most of the, your, your boxes are, are for whatever you, for the sake of saying that this is a, a barcode system. Your boxes are, are KDFs or something that have uh, that O2 in the last of the ASCII that it's reading from the barcode scanner. Then you would want this to stay constant, right? You would, I mean, you could change it if you wanted to, um, but you would want it to stay constant. And then finishing out you know so you would you would basically t like move, <clears throat> move into the system as in like your grade changing or for, for that matter you're moving a dat the data into the, the new data into the system and then you're converting it over well in that instance if we were to convert it back it's only going to convert back <clears throat> what we had in the converted back right here so if I did this down here the full barcode we can see what that'll look like too. So let's go ahead and put the full barcode. So you see what happens here is it's not going to get the dash behind it because you're restricting it by the dent. The dent is is you know it can only do the limitation, and I'll show you. The dent can only do, you know, basically 32 bits. So the summation of 32 bits is, you know, if you would have had a one in every one of these, that's just the max it could possibly be. It can't expand past that. <laughs> Whereof, if you look at a string, you're looking at a string as, as in basically the data that comes in, right? So you can just extend this data as far as you want to extend it. And for that matter, it breaks it down into increments. So it doesn't have, you know, you're not necessarily looking at ones and zeros anymore. You're, look, you're looking a little deeper. So you're, you're having ones and zeros. <clears throat> In this instance, you're having ones and zeros that make the end result of the, basically, of your data. And that it's giving it in, in one increment at a time. So you can kind of break it down as far as that goes, and that's why why I say this is a ASCII and it's a cent. So it, the part of the the ASCII is giving so many cents, so so many single integers. So you have to understand that the the, the breakdown of the hierarchy of uh, what a dent is, you know, and basically what a string is, right? So the string is a combination of dents, which is your length, right? Is your length of your your string, and then your at your basically your your um, <clears throat> your data for your string is going to all be in cent. So single integers, but uh, there's a bunch of them, and it breaks it down so you get exactly what you want right here. Um, so if you look at this again, 
we are moving it into the barcode or the current barcode to run right and then the barcode that's running we converted it over so we converted it a, a dent to a string we did a string constant concentrate so basically we added um, source A to source B and got the destination so we added these two values in and then got the source or got, got what we wanted to compare to and then now we can put some code down here later to show you exactly how that's done but um, to illustrate the, the breakdown of a, a dent and a breakdown of a string and to also use a, you know the concentrate string concentrate um, that's basically how that's used <clears throat> and that's how you build your tag so you can do this multiple times you can keep adding to it like say for instance you wanted to have uh, like a shift right or shift left you can kind of keep keep adding these these uh, concentrates in here so you could keep kind of popping data into them um, it's really you know the sky's the limit when you do that I mean you you really want to to build it how, how your system is done um, it's kind of rough illustration because this has so much versatility in it and how you want to use it but the purpose of showing the difference in in converting a, a, a dent to a string and a string to a dent you know you, you can once you get it into a string value you, you can kind of build up on it and, and make the solid barcode or, or what, for instance what if, if you had another um, another illustration of what it should be then you can do it but in the instance of trying to use a, a dent for the same purpose you're going to run into limitations and you're going to run into problems so it's best you you go ahead and convert the, the, the dent to a string and then you know use your string concentrate to go ahead and basically you look at this as a map you know you're adding B to A and then getting a destination so if you look at it like that I mean you're basically adding the top value to the bottom value and then the combination equals that and then as far as getting the string back even if you have the full uh, the full end of the concentrate right here you're only going to get back what's in the barcode so you're only going to get back the first first section of it because it can't read this you can't break that down and that's the reason that the restriction is because of the fact of it's just a single dent it's not uh, a, it's not a string which has sent uh, so actually 82 or, or more cents in it and then it has the uh, a dent in it as well so it, it has a lot of limitations in it where the, the string is a lot better scenario as far as that goes so again not to make this run any longer than, than it has just kind of wanted to show a, a brief illustration of a, a, a dent to a string and a, a string to a dent and also show uh, a sh you know a short little instance of a, a, co a string concentrate so um, again if, if you find this helpful you know give me a thumbs up uh, I appreciate it if you'd like to see some other stuff or, or if you have any areas of interest that you'd like to see just please leave, please leave them in the uh, comments below and I'd be glad to uh, make a video on it. I just felt that um, had a, there was a question about barcodes and stuff of, of that nature that, that I got asked about. And I felt that it would be easy to, to kind of start off with this and kind of show a, a base illustration of, of, you know, a string to a dent and then a concentrate. So again, though, I appreciate your time. And uh, I know we're over the 15 minute mark. So I, uh, just out of respect for your time, I'll go ahead and uh, end the video. And uh, like I said, if, if you have any comments, just go ahead and leave them below. Um, ideas, uh, feel free to email me, and uh, it'll be in the show notes below. Okay, well, thank you for your time.